Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would just share the bits and bobs that we're getting up to over the next week. Matt and I are just about to head to lunch in Yaletown to a new restaurant called Nightshade. So we're gonna go check that out and then have a nosy around town. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. We also have some exciting news to share, which I'll share later on in the vlog. I know that's very annoying. Um, but we'll share it later on in the vlog when I can like properly sit down and um, just share what we have been working on and kind of our plan for this year. It's like a really, really big change and a really, really big chapter. And I'm very excited to just like get the news out there. Um, but I will do that a little bit later on, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, in the meantime, let me show you my outfit because I bloody love it. So I just got this knitted dress from Dynamite uh, a couple of days ago and I absolutely love it. It's such a nice color. It's a really nice thickness. It's got really nice sleeves. It's a lovely length. I'm wearing an extra small. Um, I'm five foot three, so this is kind of where it falls on me. And then I'm wearing my new Revolve boots, which I absolutely love. You might have seen them in my Revolve haul and they are literally like the boots of dreams. I also got this jacket from Revol uh, not Revol from Dynamite as well. And um, it's really nice, but I feel like it's just a little bit too beige on beige of however today. He's just the goodest boy. He's actually graduated to just staying in the house on his own, just roaming free. So he used to stay in his little gated area when we leave the house. But um, over the last like couple of months or so, he's just been hanging out in the house and he's really good. He just sleeps, aren't you bubs? Unless he has like a secret rave that we don't know about. Do you like that? Oh, oh thanks, baby. <laughs> just finished lunch at Nightshade. Hi, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> we are back in the old hood actually, we're in Yaletown, which is where we used to live before we moved out to our current house. We were in Yaletown for like six, six years, yeah, since we moved to Vancouver. Nice to be back in the old hood. So the restaurant that we went to was called Nightshade and um, it's pretty new, they've only been open I think just this year. And uh, it's all plant-based, but it's like kind of like fine dining plant-based, but it's all very like hearty and amazing food. It was so good. Uh, Matt had a curry, like a, a chickpea and cauliflower curry. And that was amazing, really good. really good. We also had sushi, which was like incredible. Instead of uh, fish, there was um, aubergine or eggplant and it was just, everything was just amazing. So I highly, highly recommend giving it a visit. Whether you're vegan, vegetarian, plant-based or not, it's really good and like we eat meat, but it was like very, very satisfying. Like you didn't miss meat at all. And um, yeah, I would 100% go again. So it's a really, really nice spot, like in the heart of Yaletown on Mainland Street. So now back at the car and we're gonna head up to Robson. Um, the Herschel shop has just opened on Robson Street. I think it's like their flagship shop, flagship shop. Um, so we're gonna head Chip there, Flag flagship. It's like chip shop. Chip, chip shop. Chip shop. Um, so we're gonna head there and go check that out. And um, I kind of want to have a look in Zara. And um, yeah, that's kind of it, really. Take it, Fino. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it. Go to daddy. Where's daddy? Yay! Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Tiny stickers. Tiny stickers. Got a hat though. Check the hat. Beach got bike. New, you got a new handbag. I'm having the mask. You want the mask? Yeah. Cool. We're not going to get back up these hills. I don't think we are. <laughs> Finny? Yeah! <laughs> so we are spending the morning slash afternoon 
on uh, Mount Seymour. We have had a really productive week, got loads of stuff done, but we've just been inside far too much, well I have anyway. So I thought, you know what, why not come for a nice little walk? And uh, we're just in the forest, we're doing the Dog Mountain Trail. We've uh, got Finny with us today, and uh, we haven't really done much like winter hiking with him. I feel like this is probably the first like winter hiking trail, or maybe the second, maybe the third. Anyway, we haven't done much of it. So um, yeah, it'll be good, uh, good practice for him for our Rocky trip, which is coming up uh, next week, end of next week. So that is gonna absolutely fly by. Um, can't remember if I've mentioned it on here, but we're gonna be spending 10 days in uh, Banff and Jasper. We're gonna be working with the farm mama there, and um, I cannot wait. I've got a project to shoot over here. Got my new Baffin boots on, my new Chloe boots, which I love. And uh, that's kind of the afternoon really. So yeah, it's uh, it's a really nice day. And um, it's just so nice that the North Shore Mountains are so close to Vancouver. This was like a 40 minute drive, 30 minute drive from ours. Obviously you've got Cyprus, you've got Grouse, and um, they're so close to the city, but just so beautiful and foresty and mountainous. And it's just so lovely. <laughs> Uh, oops. Be <laughs> near the sled dog, oh my god. <laughs> Vancouver, we have come to Holt Renfrew and we have had lunch at Holt's Cafe. Uh, they invited us here, they're doing like a really nice Valentine's brunch this weekend and we just had lunch and it was so good and we've got some uh, dinner to take home. I have seen some shoes that are potential wedding shoes from Jimmy Choo. So, me and Hubs might go and take a look and just see what they're like and try them on in case the dream isn't what I want it to be. Um, oh, here he is. Hello. Hello! <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go and have a look and see what they've got. It's been really, really nice. Um, town was really good. Um, we had a little browse around the shops. I bought a hat for our trip next week, just from Roots. And then um, we went and checked out the wedding shoes that I have been looking at. So they're the Jimmy Choo. I think they're the Avalines. And they are just one of the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. They've got like a gorgeous bow on the one, or one shoe has a bow on the back, and one shoe has a bow on the front. And I tried on the stiletto with a pointy toe and also the open toe, um, just, just to see. I actually love the black stiletto one with the pointy toe, it's just like so, so nice. Um, but if it's like a wedding shoe, I might do, maybe even do those ones in white because um, they do come in white or maybe do the sandal with the open toe but they're just like I just think they're super sexy and very nice and without giving too much away about my dress you can actually see my shoes so I'm like I feel like I want to have like a killer shoe because they will be like so visible so yeah we'll see they actually were pretty comfy um pretty true to size so I'm just gonna wait We've obviously got time the wedding's not till like September so I'm gonna wait for a bit I'm gonna try them in a different color just kind of sit on it and see I mean like they are a little bit of a, a splurge shoe but I'm like it's 
my running shoes and um, I think maybe what I could do is maybe if I got white and they got dirty I could maybe get them dyed I don't know how if that would be possible so um, yeah it was just quite nice to try them on get into like that kind of wedding -y spirit um, but yeah we're just on our way back now we might be going to buy a new camera uh, so there's a Canon R5 which I'm pretty obsessed with and we've run it for a while and so we're gonna go and check that out um, on Broadway and then we are just uh, picking up Finny boy, he's been at daycare today, so I'm just waiting for Matt to go get him. I'm sure he's going to be so happy. He loves daycare, and that's one of the not regrets, one of the things I wish we kind of did differently when he was younger. I wish we'd sent him to daycare before he was six months because obviously, at, after six months, between six months and when they're neutered, they're not allowed to go to daycare. So you can either take them before six months or after they're neutered. For us, that was when Fino was like a year old. But like, I kind of wish we'd just done it when he was younger, just so they had more dog time. But he just loves it. And obviously, like, you know, I'm at home all the time anyway, so we can give him a lot of attention. But obviously, at daycare, he gets the attention that we can't give him. He gets like, pure dog time and he loves it and they also have um like a webcam so we can watch him <laughs> so like they'll have a webcam and they'll turn it on like at certain points in the day and so you can watch him and see what see what he's doing see how he is and he's he's so good he just like he plays with the dogs and then he comes and checks back on the human and then we'll give the human a kiss and wants attention then goes back to the dogs like he's really good which is like just great to see so yeah that's gonna be kind of our, the rest of our afternoon hi pups hello did you have fun with your friends? You seem really, you seem really tired out. <laughs> the <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know you'd put that in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Today's a celebration. <laughs> Wait, it's a celebration. We do a lot of celebrating. Yeah, we do. We've got a lot to celebrate at the minute. Hey. Cheers! Or on telly. Cheers, you're on telly, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. This has been a good, another good week. A good day. Big day. So many big things. <laughs> I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> Cheers! So when we were at Holtz Cafe earlier, which was really, really good. I've never eaten there before and it was great. Uh, we ordered some food for dinner, so we don't have to cook tonight, which is great. So we got the Saigon steak salad, which was incredible. And it's got like, is it rice noodles underneath? It's vermicelli. Vermicelli noodles underneath. And it's like lemongrassy and lemony. And there's like salad and steak and it's so nice. And then we also got the power bowls. Is that that one? Um, I mean, it doesn't look the best because it's just all in a takeout thingy. <laughs> but this is- Tastes great. It tastes great. This is a tofu power bowl very healthy actually all the food was like most of the food on the menu was pretty healthy especially the um, truffle fries especially <laughs> the truffle fries being the exception and your crispy chicken sandwich <laughs> um but it had some really really good food we got power bowl we got some prawns we got some salmon got ourselves a saigon salad got ourselves some brillo seco today we made a purchase uh that i didn't expect to make it wasn't the Jimmy Choo shoes, but they really do want those. Uh, Fino, get out! <laughs> Fino's been extra nosy. Um, so, I mentioned that we were looking at getting a new camera, and uh, basically it, it happened. <laughs> I didn't expect to buy it today, so impulse in that sense, but we've been thinking about it and researching it a lot. We've been watching so many YouTube videos, we really, really wanted to get a second camera, get an upgrade, and I've been looking at the Canon, the new Canon mirrorless cameras for a while. So we went with the Canon R5, which is an absolute beast. It is like amazing. I haven't opened it yet. I'm like, I just, I need a minute before I open it because it's just gonna be so all consuming and be so obsessed with it. But we're going on our rocky trip next week. So we've got time just to get to know it. Obviously it's a completely different system to what we were shooting with before. We're still gonna use our Lumix GH5, which is what we've been shooting with for the last like couple of years. Um, we love it, we've got tons of lenses, still gonna use that, but we do need a second camera. Um, so I got the 24 to 70 lens as well, as well as a lovely Nifty 50 Prime. Yeah, I'm now bankrupt because uh, <laughs> it wasn't cheap. It, I'm seeing this as an investment um, 
and it's amazing. So yeah, I, I maybe I'll do like a review video or something once I've got to know it. I'm super, super excited though to use this. And it's just like, is there a picture of it? There you go. It's just very, very exciting. The other exciting thing, and it's something that I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, and we haven't actually announced it properly yet. So this is sort of the announcement. And Hubs, I feel like you should be here for this. Because it involves Hubs. It does involve Hubs. Do you want to say it or should I say it? You say it. I'd say it. So basically, Hubs and I have been working together for a long time. Vino drinking very loudly. <laughs> Can you hear Vino guzzling his water? We'll just wait for you, babes. Don't worry. You done? Cool. Um, yeah, so I started my blog seven years ago. I started my blog purely as a hobby to document our travels and then that kind of just carried on evolving, evolved into YouTube, evolved into Instagram. I kind of took it all full time for so years ago and it became my job basically and I never ever thought it would be so it's like it's been a really really nice journey a very very unexpected one and it's been amazing we've got to travel to some amazing places work on our skills and connect with you guys and build a community and it's it's just been amazing and i, I love it so much and hubs has always been a part of it but there's always sort of been a limit to how much he's been a part of it just because he's had his own full-time job so hubs has been teaching diving in vancouver for the last seven years diving is like a huge passion of his he's amazing at teaching he's like it's just the perfect place for it in bc so he's been doing that for the last seven years full time however things kind of just for him with his company just kind of naturally came to an end and over New Year's we were kind of thinking right what's the next step does he work with another school what do we do so we kind of came to the conclusion that why don't we go for the thing that we've been wanting to do for so long which is work together full time and basically uh, the plan is, so the, the, well, the plan is, we are doing it now. We're basically working together full time. So Hobbs has come, he's joined me, and we're gonna be working on our creative stuff full time together. He's still gonna be diving, still gonna be keeping up, you know, that part of things kind of on the side. Um, that's like a huge passion of his anyway. It, feel free to interrupt, because I'm like speaking on behalf of you. But yeah, we just thought, let's just ramp it up and just and do what we do and do what we love doing together and what we've always been doing together. Together. Oh, together together so we are going to be together all the time never ever ever leave each other ever ever the female is really happy about this because it means he gets us and yeah so we're kind of on like week two end of week two isn't it um and it's been going well so far and it's been a lot of learning and a lot of just kind of getting hubs up to date with like how everything works because he's been a part a big part of it but I've basically done most of the work when he's obviously been doing a lot of the photography and we've been doing that together for a long time so yeah it's good this is kind of the transition period but it's really exciting and it basically means that we're not limited by his time off anymore it means we can travel so much more we've got our 10 day trip to Banff and Jasper coming up next week which we wouldn't have been able to do before so already it's just opening up so many more opportunities for us and it's just really exciting and it just means just we get to do like more things together and build our empire together. Well, basically Fino's empire. This is all for Fino. You know, it's all for Fino. Um, but I've been thinking about getting this, the, the Canon R5 for a while. And it's like, we need a camera each realistically. And it's just kind of another little, another well, big investment that we've made, I guess, into this. So yeah. Take so exciting. <laughs> I can't believe it I really can't believe it it was kind of something that I've been thinking about and hubs were thinking about but then we didn't know if it would work and then it, it all just fell together it was actually when we had COVID at the be beginning of the year that we kind of hatched this big plan so I'm kind of thankful that we had COVID because we wouldn't have had that time together to sit down and just hash it all out if I hadn't have had COVID I would have been in Mexico with my brother and so this probably wouldn't have actually happened so sometimes the world works in funny ways and sometimes when you think things are like a obstacle or whatnot sometimes it is actually a blessing because it just gives you time to just think about what you want and that's kind of what we did at the beginning of the year so anything to add? It'd have, I mean, been, yeah. it'd have been cheaper if you'd have gone to Mexico. It would have been cheaper to go to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, especially after buying all this stuff today. But yeah, it's super exciting and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Are you happy? Yeah? 
yeah and i'm proud of us i'm really proud this is like it's a, a bold step definitely i don't think it's going to be too much of an adjustment because we know our dynamic we work together like anyway it's not like we're starting fresh with this we like each other we like each other I mean, it's been two weeks and I still like you, so. No regrets? No regrets just yet. What's that from? Can't remember, what is that from? We're the Millers. We're the Millers. <laughs> this has been a long eight minutes of talking. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you can do the endings now. <laughs> so anyway. That's the big news. That's what we've been keeping secret. It's very exciting. So it just also means way more content, way more vlogs, way more travel, way more photos, way more, like basically way more everything because rather than it just being me trying to do everything, we've got hubs now and it's double, double the energy, double the output. And I feel like, you know, like, I feel like I've really got my groove back. Like last year was, it was a huge roller coaster. Life is still a huge roller coaster, but I, life feels, it feels good and I'm really optimistic and I'm really inspired and I haven't felt this way for a very very long time I haven't felt this level of like inspiration and motivation since before Paul my brother died and so it's I think Matt has a huge he plays a huge role in that I think just two of us coming together we keep each other accountable he kind of just pulls me up when I need it and it just feels really good so anyway hopefully you guys will keep joining us on this journey i'm sure like like you know nothing is ever smooth sailing but um i'm just really excited for it and excited for what it will bring basically if you've made it this far because i feel like this is going to be quite a long vlog um then thank you so much for watching always always appreciate your support it means so much and um yeah i'm excited for this next chapter thanks so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye cheers <laughs>